My dearest dream is for an internationality of poems and poets, binding the lands of the earth closer than all treaties and diplomacy. When Whitman wrote, the globe was still a globe and not a village then. But now we live in a global village, and an organization like Penn uh, is capable of, uh, of realizing this dream of Whitman to make literary connections among nations and their writers. Well, Penn connects writers and journalists and poets from all over the world. Penn works for freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Penn supports literature. I think for every writer that Penn helps directly in a calculable way, um, there are dozens and maybe hundreds of other writers uh, that we will never know about who are encouraged by that work. Penn, since it's involved in literature, is really protecting the freedom of the imagination. And the freedom of the imagination is is, is most important because it's probably our highest human faculty because it is in its ranging explorations uh, without boundaries. Freedom to write is the heart of Penn and by that I mean that it's everything that stands for what's noble and has a world reach and stands for solidarity among writers all over the world. To be an effective human rights organization, Penn organizes delegations that go to the countries to investigate the condition of the writer. Penn organizes letter writing campaigns, does what it can to pressure other governments to try and get our government to exert some pressure. For decades, Penn has worked to secure visas for writers denied entrance to the U.S including Nobel laureates like Pablo Neruda, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and Dario Fo. Recently, Penn has worked hard to secure a visa for the Muslim writer Tariq Ramadan. Since September 05, Penn has used every means possible to get political asylum for Iraqi writers and translators in danger of being killed for their work. Iraqi translators and writers who helped really the American government have been left on their own or are in hiding. We're working to help them get visas. I found that these Iraqis who supported and trusted us most now feel abandoned by us. They're targeted for death as collaborators by Sunni and Shia extremists alike, and they're distrusted and despised by the Iraqi government and security forces. There is still no clear, expeditious, and safe route to the U.S. available to these most vulnerable Iraqis, and for many of them, time is running out. I lost everything. I lost my, my country. I can't stay there anymore. I will get killed. Penn saves lives. These writers are, are in danger often of losing their lives, and Penn is, I like to think, watching their backs. Penn is the, is the organization that knows what's happening to them, that's keeping track of hap what's happening to them, that's alerting other people and bringing attention to what's happening to them, and is trying to do something about it. In April 2003, Fidel Castro arrested and jailed 74 so-called dissidents. Among them were 32 Cuban writers and journalists. I thought that if I could draw media attention to the plight of these writers of conscience, if they could shine the spotlight on these people, we might get some action here. The uh, regime's actions, we believe, are an appalling act of intimidation against those who seek freedom and democratic change in Cuba. Among those dissidents still in jail after four years, the poet and journalist Normando Hernandez Gonzalez was one of Cuba's most promising young writers. El impulso inicial de de Normando a hacer periodismo independiente de Cuba se debe a que se dio cuenta que describir la realidad cubana era la mejor manera de contribuir a la independencia y a las libertades en Cuba, este sin compromiso, digamos, profundo en el plano político, sino, sino un compromiso exclusivamente con la verdad. Normando 
was an independent journalist. He was pretty critical of the government. He was very often harassed. People would come in and see what he was writing and drag him down to the police station. El Colegio de Periodistas, de Periodistas Independientes de Camagoy es una agrupación, desde luego fundada también por, por él, que se hizo fundamentalmente para proteger a los periodistas independientes. En Cuba, durante estos últimos 50 años, para decirlo rápido, es decir, no ha habido una escuela de periodismo de verdad eh, libre. Estos grupos de periodismo en Camagoy, pues lo que trataban es de dar una visión real de lo que es el periodista. Es un soldado de la verdad y de la libertad con un equipo muy pequeño, muy reducido, con gente que tampoco estaba muy preparada técnicamente. Lo más importante que hizo como contribución al periodismo independiente es una revista. Una revista pequeña que empezó a circular en Camagüey, una revista muy bien hecha, muy profesional. Fuera de La Habana era la única que se estaba publicando. Ese es una, uno de los motivos que, que provoca que el gobierno, entre esos centenar de periodistas que estaba escribiendo, pues lo eligiera también a él. But nothing happened really bad until the crackdown in April 03. He was subjected to, to a so-called trial. He couldn't have a lawyer, he couldn't see his wife, he couldn't communicate with anyone, and sentenced to several years in prison. They threw him in solitary confinement. He was allowed four hours of sunlight a week. He was beaten and thrown in a terrible cell with violent people, mental cases, rodents, insects. De Normando, lo que hay que exaltar en él, me parece a mí, es su tenacidad, su fuerza, su perseverancia, su disciplina para el trabajo. He took it for as long as he could. He lost 38 pounds. He wasn't a big guy. And then he passed out in his cell and they took him to a nearby hospital so-called hospital it was worse than the prison they threw him in a room there was no table no bed he sat on a bucket with diarrhea for a week they threw his food under the door and then they dragged him back to prison he's now been diagnosed with oh tuberculosis, which he contracted in prison. He has now some sort of large tumor in his colon. They don't know if it's malignant or not because no doctors ever looked at him. And we at Penn have picked him out to get this award because we feel if we don't give it to him right now, he isn't going to be there. He's going to die. For his independent journalism and his unbending defense of press freedom in Cuba, Penn is proud to confer the Penn Barbara Goldsmith Freedom to Write Award on Normando Hernandez Gonzalez.